either. Our next contestant goes by the name of Julie Harvey. Now, you just got a new Mother's Day gift or something? Am I supposed to be mentioning this? She didn't even know because Mother's Day is on Sunday. I didn't know. What is it? It's a horse. What kind of horse? Quarter horse. A quarter horse. And you're going to be singing. Fancy. Have at it. Hey, I'm sorry. I actually would like to tell a little story, and I promise. It'll be like three minutes, and then I'll be done. But last year, I was here to support my good friend Rosalie, who won the contest. And when she came down and dedicated the song to her dad, um, she said, everybody in this room will be touched by cancer. And I sat up there, where I think my children and my husband are right now, sipping on my glass of wine, thinking, wow, I really haven't been touched by cancer, and I don't really know anybody. My, my husband's grandmother had liver cancer, and lost her battle we were dating. So it wasn't, um, I wasn't really touched by that. And there's some girlfriends who lost their mother to breast cancer. I wasn't really touched by that, because I had lived far away already. But Rosalie and I have talked a lot about this since then, and everybody in this room is really touched by cancer. And it's important for us to be able to identify with it. And it's not the old lady down the street that has cancer, or somebody you don't know, or nephews, brothers, cousins, whoever. Um, cancer has a, a name, and children, and crazy girlfriends that will fly from Minnesota to see you, and parents, and nurses, and It's mine. Survivor. Yeah. And on Monday I served 33 days of radiation. But I couldn't have done it without, and I see them. My oncology nurses are here, my day surgery nurses are here, my breast cancer surgery nurses are here, my support group in town. fortunate that um, Mike and I have great insurance and great um, support system, but this is a foundation and a fund that absolutely needs our support. And last year we gave about $170,000 to people in my situation, and I am so blessed that I can continue to be a stay-at-home mom with my children, but there are people who are not me. And they need your help. So,
said the clothes were up and I'm a sick in the face from the start today. How great is that to get up there and do what you've done? 